if you already watched part one, then you know that this is part two of what vegetables are in season right now. For part one, I did the um, immune building, healthy immune system herbs or vegetables, my bad. <laughs> And for this one, I'm just naming some more vegetables that are in season, and I'm gonna give you some nutritional facts about them. So, I'm gonna start with turnips. Turnips are great for liver function. So if you feel like you had a long weekend or a long night of drinking, maybe some other activities, eat some turnips for uh, lunch or dinner. I've so far just put them in soup, so you can use some soup. Um, they are packed full of vitamins, fiber, iron, copper, potassium, folate. They have so much nutritional value. So you know, maybe eat some every now and then. They don't taste bad. You know, feed your body what it deserves, what it's desiring. Next are leeks. Leeks kind of remind me of onions. They're just not as strong with, when it comes to like flavor or smell, but they do remind me of onions. And they don't make you tear up when you're trying to chop them up. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> if you don't like onions, I wouldn't recommend leeks because they do kind of taste like them. They're usually used in like Japanese dishes. Anyways, so leeks are great for reducing inflammation. They support a healthy heart and they can also help aid in weight loss. So if you're on that journey, then leeks may be the way to go. Next are rutabagas. I don't know why I like saying rutabaga, rutabaga, rutabaga. I don't know where, but it's a fun word to say to me. Um, they're high in antioxidants, they have vitamin C and E, and they can help prevent any chronic health problems, so you might want to give that a try also. Next is parsnips. Parsnips definitely remind me of carrots, I know I'm not the only one. They look like carrots except they're white. They do not taste like carrots. They don't taste bad, but they don't taste like carrots and they don't cook like two carrots. They have a different texture, but they do look like carrots on the outside in the raw form. Um, parsnips are great for a cardiovascular system, so your hearts, again. They also help balance blood pressure and they lower the risk for kidney stones. Men, maybe we need some parsnips. Next, we have cabbage. I love cabbage because you can mix so many things out of cabbage. Um, they help keep your inflammation in check, kind of like leeks do. They also lower blood pressure, blood pressure, <laughs> and they help with digestion issues. So you can make a soup out of cabbage. I love cabbage soup. I actually recently made it. All of these ingredients. Um, or you can make some coleslaw or salad. Apparently, if you eat red cabbage, raw red cabbage, you'll get the most nutrients out of it. So, yeah, like a salad, put some raw red cabbage on there. I know I've done that a few times. It tastes kind of good. Or you can make a slaw from it. So, the next thing. I think Brussels sprouts is probably my second favorite vegetable. I love Brussels sprouts. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. They're so good. Oh my god. Anyways, so Brussels sprouts have vitamin K in there, which helps prevent blood clotting. It's actually in cabbage too. I just forgot to say that. But they both have vitamin K, and that helps prevent blood clotting. Um, they also have omega fatty acids and that is a very key structure to every single every single cell wall in our body so why are you not eating brussels sprouts come on anyways 
Um, they also keep our lungs, hearts, immune system, and blood vessels working properly. So they're pretty good for you. I didn't know that they had all of that in there, but they're really good for you. And they taste so good. Roast them. Make them taste good if you don't like it. I promise it'll help you. Okay. So I think that's all. Yeah. That's all that I have, only six vegetables. Thank you so much for receiving my knowledge. I hope to share more with you in the next video. Remember, health is wealth. And enjoy this beautiful poem in the next slide. Peace. I am. There I am with all my love, all my issues, and all my soul. There I am, tired from running, from pretending, from thinking, from trying, just fucking tired. All I want to really do is be away from the pressure, somewhere making love with my soulmate on a starlit night and watering my plants the next morning on repeat. But there I am. <laughs>